Welcome to day one of the sixth phase on Mind Valley Quest. So today we're going to be going deep into the first of the six phases, namely compassion. Compassion is one of the most interesting attributes of being human. The scientist Richard J. Davidson of the University of Wisconsin Madison did a study and found that compassion or kindness is a trainable skill. You can actually train yourself to be a kinder individual. You can train your kids to be kinder. But here's the most interesting thing. When you display compassion, not just to yourself, but to others, beautiful things start happening in life. Firstly, your levels of positivity go up. You're less likely to be stressed out by difficult situations or seemingly difficult people. But in another interesting study, when you have high levels of compassion, not just to others, but to yourself, aging actually slows down. You actually get older slower. Now, compassion is more than just creating a kinder world. It's such a powerful attribute of humankind. I believe we are biologically wired to be drawn to, to be attracted to people who display compassion. Think about the Dalai Lama and the massive crowds that assemble in front of him. Think about studies sh that show that the single most attractive attribute in a male to females is kindness. And other studies show that men find compassion as an attribute in women, one of the most single um, attractive attributes. So again, if you're a guy or a woman and you're single, this part of the sixth phase might just help you get that next day. Now, the beautiful thing about compassion is when you bring it, not just as your internal state, but to the people you work with, into your workplace, beautiful results happen there as well. A study by Gallup showed that employees, they, and they surveyed 10 million employees, and they found that employees that were most engaged, happiest at work, were employees who had answered yes to the following question. My supervisor or someone at work cares about me as a person. That level of care, that's compassion. So in this phase, what we're going to do is level up your levels of compassion. We're gonna help you train kindness as a muscle, and we're gonna make you go forth into the world with heightened levels of compassion so you can bring love, smiles, and happiness to the people you touch. And as a result, reap the benefits of self-compassion as well. Now, here's what the process is gonna look like. If you are an experienced meditator, don't worry about your style or your posture, just continue getting into the same meditation routine that you regularly do. But what you're going to do is listen to the guided audio that's gonna be coming up in this chapter. Now, if you're new to meditation and you're wondering, well, how do I sit? What time of the day should I do this? What do I eat before? All of those questions are answered in the warm-up section where there's an optional video called Tips for People New to Meditation. Go ahead and check that out, right, if you haven't already. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do next. So in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to actually almost physicalize compassion in your body. Feel it as an emotion and then apply that compassion not just onto yourself but extend it into waves across the entire planet so that you feel a connection with other human beings and all life. But first, we got to understand what is compassion? So here's how scientists often define compassion. Compassion is expressing the intensity of moving from judgment to caring, from isolation to connection, from difference or dislike to understanding. It means holding back that judgmental bit of ourselves when we see someone do something that upsets us. It means being warm towards others. It means genuinely caring for the people around you. And we're gonna start this compassion exercise with a simple technique that helps you physicalize and feel the compassion within you. Now, I call this the Eve technique. It's named after my daughter Eve because I cannot help but feel kindness and love whenever I see her face, or even when I think about her face. Now, odds are you have an Eve in your life. It may be maybe a pet, it may be someone you love, it may be your spouse, it may be your kid, but think about the person on the planet right now that creates the biggest sense of love within you. Think about that person's face, right? We're gonna use that person as a trampoline to kick off your compassion waves across the planet. Now here's how the technique works, and I'm gonna guide you through this in the meditation routine, so don't worry about memorizing this. 
first, you're going to think about your Eve, right? That person who elicits feelings of love within you. So with your eyes closed, you're going to bring that person's image to your mind, their face. Think about a memory with them. And as you, with your eyes closed, think about that, I want you to draw your attention to your heart and feel that feeling of love you have for this person in your heart. Capture that. Try to understand what that feeling is. Try to physicalize it. Next, I'm going to guide you into expanding this feeling so it encompasses your entire body. See, we got to start with compassion for ourselves. So it's going to encompass your entire body. You're then going to take a deep breath. And as you exhale, you're going to feel this bubble of compassion that's, that's circling your body expand and fill the entire room. And maybe you're doing this in bed and your spouse is next to you. As it expands, you're going to sense your spouse in this bubble of compassion and feel that compassion extend to him or her too. Then you're going to take another deep breath. And as you exhale, you're going to feel this bubble of compassion explode further to fill your entire home. And again, as it fills your home, you're going to imagine that feeling of compassion extending to all living creatures in your home, your pets, your kids, a guest you might have visiting. Once again, you take a deep breath and as you exhale, you feel that bubble of compassion expand to your entire neighborhood or your apartment block. And you're not going to have to bring to mind every single neighbor. You're simply going to sense the feeling of that apartment block, sense that feeling of your neighborhood and feel this circle of compassion extend to everyone in the neighborhood. One more time of breath, exhale and see it expand to your entire city. Breathe in, exhale, see it expand to your country. Breathe in, exhale, see it expand to your continent, whether it's Europe or Asia or North America. And now the final trick. You breathe in, exhale, and you see it expand to fill the entire planet Earth. Now at this point you might be wondering, how do I extend my compassion to fill the entire planet Earth? It's a thought process. So what you're going to see in your mind's eye as you're doing this is a representation of the Earth. Now you don't have to visualize the entire globe with all accuracy. You just sort of think about the earth. You think about your neighborhood. You think about your city. And in your mind, you feel that wave of compassion that you brought into yourself when you remembered your Eve. And you feel that wave expand to fill the entire planet. Now we end with your circle of compassion expanding to the entire planet. And this portion of the six phase is done. The entire process, once you get used to it, takes about 90 seconds to two minutes. But what is going on here is that you are training yourself to expand your circle of compassion to all mankind, to the entire planet. You're training yourself to become a more loving human being. And there are huge benefits to that, not just to the people that you're going to encounter in your day-to-day -day life, but to your own self. You see, you cannot help but feel greater compassion for yourself when you extend compassion to everyone else. And self-compassion, as I mentioned earlier, not just slows down aging, but it also changes the, we the way you behave in life. So many of the problems we face as human beings come from little situations where our sense of compassion for oneself has slightly eroded. It's when we feel this erosion that we feel needy in a relationship, that we feel we need validation from a boss or a coworker, that we feel we need to check how many people have liked our latest Instagram post. But when you have self-compassion, you know that that feeling of love comes internally and not from an outside source. It makes you more unshakable, more solid as you live your life and pursue your mission. And it helps you bring your feelings of love and support to the entire human species. And that's what I love about this segment. So at this point, whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and play the audio for day one of the sixth phase. Now you don't have to do it immediately. Perhaps you're listening to me as you're driving. Wait till you get to a safe place, your office or your home, and you can do it when you have about 10 to 15 minutes to spare. And when you're done, you've completed day one of the sixth phase. And I'll see you tomorrow.